Welcome back, guys, to TerraTech. It certainly is getting crowded here in the grasslands. So uh, today, I had something planned that I wanted to do. Turns out we're not going to be able to. I did fly around with the super awesome, super duper jet that we made last time. Uh, but some people were taking me literally, by the way, when I said jet. I just meant like it's a cool plane. It's actually not a jet because it uses propellers. Uh, but whatever. Okay, so... What I wanted to do today is to use the filter conveyor piece and I wanted to use all these things which I bought ahead of time the uh, flatbed tractor pads and what we were going to do is experiment with the crafting and refining system by setting up a tractor bed for every material for the wood, for the different metals, for the crystals, for all that kind of stuff and I was going to use the conveyor let me find, uh, where is my let me find where my little guy to buy stuff is, and I will just show you the piece. We were going to use the filter conveyor to basically make sure that each, each of those tractor beds only had one material per tractor bed, and then we were going to try different experiments to combine them in different ways. This guy right here, filter conveyor. So I did go and I found it, and the workaround for the crashing bug, which I read, is that... Uh, as soon as you see it on its little pedestal to grab, you save and exit, then you load back in, you grab it, but don't put it on anything, so that you unlock it, then you save and exit again, and you should be okay. That's what I read, but uh, no, not the case. If I buy one, even now, and put it on anything, it will crash my game when I attach it to it. So we can't do the crafting. So we're gonna shift gears just a little bit, and I've expanded our smelting production a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> this is now, this has 22 refineries and 22 of these mobile delivery cannons, which now cost 1200 each. So that's a pretty decent investment there. And I'm hoping uh, that we can increase our, our uh, what, what's the word? Our profitability. So this is the guy we were, oh, it's nighttime now, that's no good. This is the guy we were using previously to go and get money. We would go and drill stuff and it would get picked up and sold on this guy's back. Uh, but notice he can only really hold four of these refineries. That guy over there has 22. And this guy here, my new one, he, he can hold a whole bunch of materials and the idea is, and I think I'll wait for the sun to come back up, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive around, pick up a silly amount of materials, and then drop them off at our new smelting and selling center over there, periodically, and see how that works out in terms of how much money we can make. Alright, let's give this new drill tech a go. Actually, you know what? I don't know that I ever saved him, so let's make a snapshot of him. Over here, where we get a nice angle, and actually, uh, you know what I should do is check to see what number we're on before I do that. So let's look here, Tex. All right, last thing we saved was ZLP-07 Starscream, our air fighter plane thing. Actually, he's not a fighter, he's got no weapons, but ZLP-07. So this will be ZLP-08. But bam look at that guy, he's massive. All right, there we go, ZLP08, and we'll call him um, the Mammoth, I think. Bam. Even though he's got no tusks. Actually, no, I take that back. He's got 12 tusks. He's a super mammoth. He's bigger than uh, our old drill guy. He's wider, he's longer, he's got twice as many wheels. And another thing I want to do, our place is getting kind of cramped here, and I want to organize charging bays for our vehicles to come back and kind of line up. I'm kind of doing that already. We've got two here in this original charging bay, and then I've got a guy there, and a guy there, and a guy there, and a guy there. Uh, but I want to make that a little better, and I want to see what happens if I've got these, uh, these things right here. Fixed anchors. If I have those anchored down, Will these trees grow back? I kind of think they shouldn't, but I don't... Oop, now we're kind of stuck, because this guy... Maybe we should do that with our other guy that's a little bit smaller. Maybe we should just shoot them down. Um, I can blow up anything but my own blocks, so that's why I'm getting stuck there. Otherwise, we would just plow through all of it. Yeah, let's take it down with this guy who's a little bit smaller, a little bit more nimble. 
and he can sell this stuff. The wood doesn't sell for much, but with this new system, I am going to be able to sell so many things at once um, that we might make a decent amount of money in bulk selling all of the wood. Because you can get a lot of it because there's so many trees all over the place, and now the, the sound, that very repetitive loud sound, got a little bit quieter. All right, that's better. See, this guy still has his place. We'll keep him around. I like having a collection of all our previous designs anyway. I think it's cool to compare them. Because this guy looks even bigger when you compare him to the old guy. All right, so there we go. Uh, we did that. I want to see, like, how closely things respawn to this one in particular. Like, will this tree up here respawn? So we're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Now, there are, there's, there are better drills in the game, which I have not discovered yet. I found a few new items. I guess I'll just get rid of all this stuff to find out what the radius is to that anchored block. Because I have stuff, for instance, over here, I have anchored blocks right there, and there's stuff spawning that close. So probably important to figure that out, because I don't want this stuff spawning and, like, moving my vehicles around and that kind of thing. Maybe they won't spawn directly underneath my vehicles. I, I really just don't know. But I don't want to, like, take my vehicle out and then come back and find that a tree has grown in his parking garage. Uh, that could be kind of annoying. Okay, that's probably good over here. Oh, we're getting uh, an ore there. So yeah, we cannot do... I mean, we could do the crafting manually by taking items like this and dropping them uh, onto the fabricators and whatnot. I really have no interest in doing that. That's going to be extremely grindy. I'd rather just make a bunch of money like this and uh, buy stuff later when I have a bunch of money. If I can't automate it, uh, I'd rather just be driving around blowing up other techs. All right, so let's circle around. Um, let's see, can, I wonder how quickly all that's, we have six of these large receivers there. I wanna take out these guys as well. And in fact, maybe we will just extend one of these anchored blocks, because these guys kinda get in the way of my base. So let's just put an anchored block there. See what happens. See if that stuff comes back or not. And we can we can collect all kinds of stuff. We've got um, three of these. Let me get out of range of the noise, by the way. So there are. Oh gosh, we're still in range. Come on, serious. I'm. Look how far away I am, and I could still hear that. Maybe because of the. Oh yeah, it's where your camera is, not where your vehicle is. We've got three of these big tractor beds on the front. They're going to pick up the brunt of the load, and then four on the back, which will get picked up from these side receivers. And that's kind of the um, the excess weight. And what I want to do for the test, though, I want to load it up as fully as we can, and I'm interested to see how, how much the throughput of this thing matches the throughput of our new refining and selling center. I need a better, more concise name for that, I think. I wanna know how quickly it can take all this stuff, and like if uh, if I bring it in with like four or five of these tractor pads totally full, can it take all of that without me having to wait around? Because that'll influence like how, much tr how many trees I bulldoze. If it can just take stuff nonstop, uh, then the trees might become profitable. Look how many items we've got, holy cow. I really wish they, uh, well, I'm sure they will, but I, I'm, I'm really hope, looking forward to the time when we get just some basic drilling sounds and like some trees, like the trees don't make any sound when they get knocked over. And it's a little eerie after hearing some of the other sounds. There's basically weapon sounds and the, uh, the charging sounds and explosion sounds. Oh, there's, this guy's got a seam. Okay, some of these rocks, I think the seams need to be a little bit more visible sometimes when they are a grayscale, the plumbite. The plumbite, by the way, makes all of the alloys. Another thing I was thinking of doing is creating a uh, smelting system where it would combine metals into alloys and then sell them. A couple problems with that. All of the alloys require plumbite. So you would have to have a filter to really make sure that that happens in an efficient manner. Plus, you can't sell a lot of the alloys. They're not sellable, they're meant purely for crafting, uh, which is fair enough, but it just means that it's no point in me setting up a huge system for it. 
uh, when we're not going to be doing that until the bug with the filter conveyor gets worked out. All right, let's head over here. So we've got a lot of these trees. The wood does not sell for much, but if, if we pick up a stupid amount of it from all these trees, if we can sell it immediately, I think it might be worth it to just bulldoze them all. Here's a blue. So we're getting pretty full. We've got uh, three. Not only three of these tractor pads, but three, no, two of these conveyors are totally full. And then these guys back here are starting to fill up. And the distance I'm traveling, I guess, is also a factor. Like, it might be more efficient to just mow down everything, all the trees in, within a certain radius, come dump it off, and then go and return and see what has respawned. Nothing has respawned yet, but I don't think that means anything. All right, let's uh, let's turn this thing back in. This might crash the game. I, I actually was selling stuff, and I had the game alt-tabbed, and when I tabbed back in, the game crashed. <laughs> so I think it couldn't handle it. So let's just keep, every, let's just try it. But word to the wise, wow, look at that go. Word of the wise, don't uh, AFK here. I might change, one thing I might change. That's pretty good. It picked up almost all of it at once. But the the one thing I'm noticing is that I, I have to drive around to get within range of all of these um, receivers. And I think the, the receivers take priority over the tractor pads for sure. No, the tractor pads take priority. So I'm wondering if if uh, these receivers, if they're going to start juggling back and forth, because I've got receivers on my guy. Doesn't seem to be the case just now. Uh, but looks like not only do I need a few more receivers in our smelting system, so I would come in and drop all this stuff off and then drive back around and let this stuff get sold while I'm driving around. But for, for right now, just to watch it the first time, I think we'll just we'll stick right here. That's one thing, one issue. Another thing is I think I want some kind of bay to drive in, surrounded by receivers, to take everything off as quickly as possible. And then I can leave and uh, go back to getting resources. Look at all those numbers. So I had like 20k. And stuff is getting sold. Uh, another question is... Are the conveyor belts fast enough to get the stuff to the end of this end of the sequence before the um, the cannons and the refineries before it uh, take the stuff? So this might not be the optimal layout because it looks like stuff is getting sold. Like here, it's only getting halfway down this conveyor before the refining and selling catches up. So possibly I just need more receivers, or I may need to rethink the, the conveyor layout. Instead of having it be one big circle, I decided to split it and have it go down each side. Uh, looks like I may need to do more of that. Maybe even reconfigure it so there's four lines. Yeah, because they're not getting all the way down there. We've got a lot of wasted uh, throughput there. So here's the new idea. I trimmed off part of that last system, and we're going to basically mirror it on the other side... And then just drive down the middle, and we're going to have two more of these receivers and a few more... I think the actual smelting system is actually going to get bigger. But we kind of have to test it to make sure that we can actually use all of it. I think this will be better, though. Anyway, this is how we're going to set up, try to make sure that the, this side and this side are symmetrical. Because everything revolves around uh, things being anchored. For instance, if I do this, and then I remove that block, even though this is, a, uh, this is an anchoring block, a fixed anchor it will just pop out, because it all defaults back to whatever the default is, wh whatever the first one is. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull it just a little bit, and you see how it automatically... Fight? It wants to be at its own angle. So what if... Uh, let's try... What if we did one of these? Okay, I think that's pretty close to 90 degrees, and now I just have to build this on the other side. Okay, this time we are definitely totally encumbered. We're loaded up with all kinds of ore, and the, uh, the, the smelting area has been reworked. And I had to, instead of making it like a butterfly, I had to flip it because of the way that the, uh, the refineries work. They've got an input on one side and an output on the other. Come on, I can't even turn here. I'm getting pulled 
left and right by all these receivers. I think there might be something stuck underneath me because it seems like it's pulling me left and right. Okay, so four receivers, fully loaded, took almost everything. Wheel is overloaded. I wonder if there is, uh, or maybe that's just, I don't, I'm not sure exactly why I was having trouble controlling my vehicle. But uh, I'm probably not going to be coming in here fully loaded every time. So I think this setup will work. I just won't um, do all that much. The trees have not respawned. The, the camera, by the way, is kind of floaty. I wish it didn't have like this, uh, is it called mouse acceleration? And it's just, it's it's sort of drifty, like fly mode and creative in uh, Minecraft. I wish it would just be precise. I just want to move it. Let me move the camera, guy. But yeah, that, that seems to be working pretty well. Um, the conveyor belts are getting farther down the track, that's for sure. They're still not getting all the way down, but it's an improvement. Oh, what's going on here? Uh-oh. These are not moving at all. Is there a... Nope. There we go. Okay, so this guy right here had no arrow for some reason, so that wasn't doing anything. And so, as a consequence, these were getting all the way down. What about this side? This side is working fine. And then once everything is gone, I will be able to drive straight through, except that little scooter here is in the way. Get out of the way, scooter. Here, come over here. Oh, it's a little bit laggy with all this stuff going on. Oh, and the trees respawned. That just happened. I thought enough time had passed that nothing was going to respawn, and then everything did. Okay. Uh, well, what that means is that when we make our, our garages, I guess next episode, our little repair bays, we're going to have to do it in a way where we're not going to use any space where there's a tree. We might maybe here. It needs to be as flat as possible, otherwise stuff's going to roll all over the place. What I might do is um, put little anchored blocks to keep your vehicle from rolling away. That might work. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to park this guy here for right now. Let's go blow some guys up. All right, here's somebody about to get blown up. Kablam! I think I have most of those blocks. Unfortunately, look at... Oh, yeah, get wrecked. So I've learned how to use this guy a little bit better. I think he's more suited towards being a sniper. He started out as a battering ram, and we took off the rams. You're not dead yet? Now you're dead. You're not... Oh, you're going to blow up. Okay, there you go. Anything new here? I'm pretty sure we have that thing. And we have those wheels. Yes, looks like nothing new. Yeah, nothing new. All right. Let's go look for somebody else. There's somebody right over there. There's a number of Venture Co. parts. Okay, out from under me, wheel. Get out of here. There's a number of Venture Co. parts I don't have. If I can get one good... Vo oh, it's one of these guys. If I can get one good volley on him, he's going to just explode. If he, if he loses two wheels, then we'll win. I will win either way, but it'll be more... Sa ah, great. That was bad. Okay, back up and kerblam! Got his... Got it. Well, I got one of the wheels. Okay, keep... No, no, go this way. The uh, the steering in this game is really obtuse, by the way. It does not steer like you would expect. Like, if you turn the wheel one way and hit backwards, it actually goes the opposite way, which makes no sense. Uh, I'm not sure... Like, if you, I'm not sure why it's... um program like that so you have to kind of get used to the way it's it drives it's a little bit anti-intuitive but then when you get used to it you kind of get used to it when you get used to it look at this guy doing wheelies over here bam clear shot there when you get used to it you kind of get used to it that's like a john madden okay good got him all right we've got a race car here Oh, okay, I'm not pointed quite right, and wow, look at all his stuff. Oh, I like the design of this one, and I totally screwed it up again. All right, this guy, my guy does not turn. I like these cannons. I think I might redesign it with uh, rotation in mind. Originally, he's got these little wheels on him. My guy, not him. Um, to emphasize speed so I could charge stuff. I think the bigger wheels and rotating better. Basically, this thing is a mobile turret. All right, we had that. I think I had all this stuff already. What is this? Oh, uh, is that the battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, not battery. It's a, a fuel tank. I don't think I had that one yet. Okay, it's a new part. But I think this guy needs to be redesigned with... Actually, I 
do have rockets. Oh, I took off my other boosters because I was uh, I was carrying around the tractor pads when I wanted to try to pick up parts and break them down. So I may as well put those on there to have more fuel. But I think these wheels might be better for this guy so he can turn a little better and track the target. The overall speed doesn't really matter. Look how long those boosters last. Wow. Another idea someone had, uh, or a, an idea I took from someone's comment, they th was uh, how to make um, boosters last as long as possible. Maybe we'll put just a few small boosters on a little guy, like maybe a little plane. Oh, you're dead now. A few small boosters on a little guy, and then just enough fuel tanks, basically, to where the regen of the fuel... Oh! Oh, I can't pick, yeah, I can't pick that up, because that's the cab. Enough fuel tanks to where the regen of the fuel means we can booster non-stop 24-7. That would be pretty cool. Oop, we've got a base here, and uh, we, we've got someone attacking the base, so we can actually just sort of come in here and wreak havoc. Yes, you don't run. That's right, because I knocked your wheels off. And shoot at that guy. Quit shooting sideways. There we go. All right, conquered that base. That was That was not too tricky. Came in just the right time. Oh, look at this guy. Did we take control? That guy must be an AI. I'm going to blow him up anyway. I don't really want any of these blocks. Uh, I will allow him to charge me up, though, and then I'm going to unanchor everything. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's get rid of everything I don't need. I just want the charge, basically. So let's unanchor everything else. Boink, boink, boink. And I guess that about is going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to make some garages. <laughs> or, you know, something similar to that. So we can store all our vehicles in a more organized fan manner, fashion. And we'll make some new vehicle to drive around and blow fellas up. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Um, I enjoy this game quite a bit. So we're going to keep playing it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.